so you decided a regular paint job just it's not enough man you got those sick custom wheels you got that custom body kit bro you need something extra so you decided you're gonna put lace on your Miata hardtop but you don't really know how so hopefully today I can teach you you can do this on, you know, pretty much any roof, any size. This is a little bit smaller, but um, gives you kind of a good example. This is like good demonstration for y'all. Um, just make sure that you have a piece of lace cut that's actually going to fit the size of the roof. Um, you're gonna need to pick a secondary color, either, you know, something that plays off the color of your vehicle, or if you maybe go with the same color, um, but like slightly lighter or darker, um, that can make like a real subtle effect. It can kind of, you know, make it a little bit kind of hidden in there, which is cool. Um, you can do this with just pearls, um, which is another way to make it kind of hide a little bit, especially at certain angles. You might not even notice it's there, which is kind of dope. Um, or you can do something absolutely ridiculous and crazy like what we did on the uh, custom Mazda Protégé. Uh, check that video out if you haven't seen it. We actually did that with a like bass boat gold metal flake underneath. Uh, it came out super sick. So you're gonna need the paint, obviously, uh, the two different colors that you're gonna be using or the pearls, flakes, whatever. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to kind of get it all done in just one go. If you're doing flake or anything real thick like that, you're gonna need to lay down your flake and all that first, clear coat it, and then wet sand the, uh, the clear flat so you can do your design work over the top. But in this instance, we're just gonna be using um, just regular base coats. Um, obviously, you need to go pick out a lace that you like. And this is the one that Ariel picked for her hard top. And then, obviously, clear coats, thinners, reducers, masking stuff, all that. A spray gun, a respirator, you know. All right, enough of the boring crap. Uh, let's get into this. I'll show you guys how to lay down a sick-ass pattern on this roof. got two coats of white laid down underneath the area where we're going to be doing the the lace pattern um, you don't need to take the base coat and you know do the whole thing unless you're feeling really you know froggy for whatever reason um, so I got two coats of base down and then we did a quick dust coat of a turquoise pearl over top I figured that might look kind of cool I forgot I had it in the cabinet so I grabbed it last minute and we kind of threw it over top and now it's time to put this so we're gonna go ahead and get this lace stretched over the top. And really the, the most difficult part about this is figuring out kind of how you're gonna get this affixed down and kind of hold it in one stationary spot while you do the bit of spraying that you gotta do. We let that base coat sit for about half an hour before we did this, we wanna make sure that it's good and dry. You don't wanna be, you know, dragging a tablecloth over your base coat while it's still wet. So, make sure that you let your base sit. And we're just making sure this is pretty centered. It doesn't necessarily matter because the edges are getting faded in, but if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. And then we're just gonna take our masking tape. We're gonna Start taping down some edges so we can get a little bit of a stretch on this. Just go ahead and make sure that this is good and stuck. If this moves while you're in the middle of spraying, uh, you're starting over. The main thing is we're just looking to make sure that, you know, all the the lace is laying flat and smooth on the surface. You don't want it raised up anywhere. 
The trick with spraying the base coat over the lace is essentially just keeping the spray gun a lot further off the panel than you normally would. Here I'm at about probably 10 inches off the panel and just kind of dusting it on. You still want to move a little slow so you get some good coverage, but you don't want to really, really wet it on because it'll take the fibers from the, the lace and actually stick them into the base coat. We went ahead and got the three coats of base shot on that. And then while it was still a little bit wet, we went ahead and uh, lifted it up. And that way we could get started on doing the fade into the sides. If you're spraying this on just like a whole panel, uh, then obviously this doesn't apply. But here I'm just kind of throwing down the base um, around the edges and kind of creating like a border effect around it. And we're just loading up the coats nice and wet. I think I did three or four coats to get full coverage on the corners and then just went ahead and faded it off into the center to make a real nice subtle kind of taper off into the the base coat on the edges the design work left a little bit of like patterning in the clear coat so we went ahead and had Ariel and Reed uh, wet sanded down an 800 grit flow coated it and it came out super smooth and flat If you guys are interested in seeing the end product kind of on the car and some better shots of it, go check out uh, Ariel's channel, Miss VTech. Uh, we'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys. Yeah.